Okay, Gun Collector 007 here with just a product review for Connoisseur's Gold Ultra Soft Jewelry Polishing Cloth. This is an item that I just picked up on Amazon. It was around six bucks. Uh, this is the extra large size, and it is a two cloth dry cleaning system. So basically, it is for polishing. This one is for polishing gold jewelry. So basically, you get two different cloths. You use the lighter color as the inner cloth that removes dirt, tarnish, and use the darker cloth to buff and polish your jewelry to a high luster. Also excellent for watches, which is primarily what I got that for. Um, if you saw last week's uh, video, I just acquired this IWC, International Watch Company, uh, vintage watch, and I did a crystal. Uh, polish on it, but now I want to really polish the gold. So inside the box you get these two cloths right here. So you get a light color cloth and you get a darker cloth. So let's see if I could separate these and I guess okay so they're sewn together and like it says so use the lighter color cloth to remove dirt tarnish and uh, then use the uh, darker one. So let's see how this works. So what we have before us is an IWC, which is all 18 karat gold. We have a Breitling, which is 18 karat gold and uh, stainless steel. We have a vintage onyx ring, and then we also have a Cuban link uh, 22 inch 18 karat gold necklace. So we're gonna see how uh, these work. I'm probably not gonna do them all because I don't want you guys to die of boredom, but uh, that's it. So on the cloth itself, it says Connoisseur's Gold Jewelry Polishing Cloth. So uh, let's give it a shot. So let's see. We'll start with just the uh, band over here and work our way down. And we see if this removes any tarnish or dirt or whatever even though I did actually steam clean this last week but I did not polish it so uh, that's it again this is a solid uh, 18 karat gold and wow okay a lot of stuff did come off interesting I did not expect that at all so let's uh, try that on the inside and right off the bat, I have to say that's a shocker. And this is a totally dry cloth. So a lot of times uh, people use those liquids where you uh, dip jewelry inside the liquid and, uh, you know, then you sponge it around with the brush, etc. Um, that is not done in that case here. So we're going to uh, now try another, another, the other side of the band with a different spot. And uh, we'll just wipe that a little bit. And uh, again, I did not expect anything to come off this as I first off scrubbed this with a mild uh, toothpaste and then I actually uh, put it in the ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. So, um, and again, wow, a lot of, a lot of tarnish and uh, et cetera coming off that. So now let's just do a little bit around the case. And, um, Actually, I could see the shine amazing, and I didn't even use uh, step two yet. So right off the bat, uh, not bad for six bucks. You know, um, nothing wrong with taking your, your fine jewelry to a jewelry store, but I'm like an instant gratification person. When I get something, I, I want it. I want it immediately. And when you take it to a jeweler, they normally take two weeks to... Uh, you know get it back to you and that annoys me so I'd rather buy something on Amazon Prime and have it the next day and uh, you know be a happy camper with that so let's see let's go a little bit more down here until we look you know have like a clean cloth and uh, let's see looks like uh, let's use another spot Let's give it a little shot on the back. This again, 18 karat gold backing on that. This is a 1950s era IWC International Watch Company uh, made in Schaffhagen, Switzerland. Um, it's quite valuable, but it was given to me, so it has more sentimental value than monetary valuable value. And wow, look at the polish on that. It looks almost like brand new. It's on that on that backing. There's a tiny dent on that. 
that is the second backing. The first one came with a inscription um, from someone, and I took that part off, and I'm saving that. I'm going to actually uh, frame that. And then this part I'm just going to use as a everyday wearing part uh, with the plain bezel. So let's, uh, let's just do this here. I could always do it again for the sake of uh, saving you guys uh, watching grass grow. I'll just uh, speed this up just a smidge. All right, so that's the, uh, that's the light side. Now they say to do a polish after you do that with the uh, darker side. So now we uh, go through there with the darker side and again I hope the camera's picking up but actually pretty amazing I don't know if a jeweler could have actually done a, a better job than this so it's taking off uh, again a little bit more of the tarnish or grime or whatever uh, from this decades old watch so it is definitely you know doing a heck of a job polishing that I have to say let's give the back a little rub on there the case back this is a waterproof watch this is originally made for uh, British uh, intelligence by the International Watch Company. Um, like I said, uh, it's an old company. They started in the 1800s, but this particular model was made in the uh, 50s to possibly early 60s. And uh, let's just finish going through this here. So give that a little polish right there. It's looking pretty, pretty good. So uh that's it i think i won't uh do much more on it but wow i think right off the bat i think you could see that is like 10 times shinier than it certainly was uh just a couple of minutes ago so pretty pretty amazing so i think what we'll do is uh instead of uh going through and doing another watch i think let's use this old uh, vintage uh, 14 karat gold ring and let's see what happens when we uh, rub the sides of that so again this is a, a ring that I cleaned in a uh, special cleaning solution and I did not expect anything to come off of this but lo and behold it looks like it is and wow look at the difference see the dullness on that side and already extremely shiny on that and I haven't even got to the uh, darker polishing part so uh, feel free to skip ahead if you'd like or if you have nothing else to do in your life then uh, stick around and watch me polishing gold so uh, gold jewelry is really making a comeback lately it was out of favor for the last decade or so but it was certainly big um, forever until the 70s and 80s and then the 90s people started going toward white gold stainless steel platinum but uh, now if you look on modern day uh, rap videos or music videos you'll see a lot of people wearing uh, 14 carat or yellow gold again 18 or whatever carat they like and uh, that's it so uh, pretty amazing now let's go to the polish pot now that we've taken uh, all the grime or whatever that was on there and let's just try that so uh, my goodness amazing how that really just is cleaning that up and I thought for uh, I didn't think anything was going to come off it to be honest with you so uh, like I said after the ultrasonic jewelry cleaner I guess they're not cracked up to be uh, what they said they are because I thought that took everything off of that and uh, looks like it didn't so just give that just a quick more little polish on that and uh, wow that looks really and we'll just give the onyx I don't know if you're supposed to just give that a little shine and that looks pretty amazing it's uh, yeah beautiful beautiful ring uh, this is a ring that uh, is uh, a famous ring also uh, was used in a movie many years ago uh, but uh, that's the end of that anyway so let's just give that a quick uh, polish and then actually while I'm wearing this this is a vintage uh, Burmese ruby and this one is only 10 karat gold so let's see and this is exactly 100 years old this month 
So October, uh, this was 100 years old, and this has an inscription on it from one of my uncles who had passed away and left this to me. And uh, I've been wearing it because I like to wear uh, vintage items as I'm getting older and becoming more vintage myself. So, wow, that really, uh, this cloth, I have to say, for the eight bucks or six bucks or whatever it was, um, amazing, amazing that it's taking anything off. I really did not think that anything was gonna come off any of, the, any of these items here. And the more you rub it, the more um, stuff comes off. Uh, so that really, really is uh, well worth the money. And wow, look at look at the shine on that. Uh, like I said, and this is a 10 carat gold, so this is not the highest uh, level gold that there is. It's uh, jewelry is made at 9 carat, 10 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat, and the much too soft uh, 24 carat, which is rarely used because, like I said, it's very soft, it bends, and uh, easily is damaged. So uh, let's just do that, and then let's just do a quick side with the polish, and uh, I could end your misery. So if you're still, uh, you know, sticking along all this time, then uh, what can I say? Hope uh, Anyway, so I could definitely give this a, a glowing, uh, positive response. Definitely um, this Connoisseur's Jewelry Cleaning uh, rag from Amazon and uh, this definitely can be used over and over and it is a dry rag by the way when I got it I thought that um, it probably maybe wasn't sealed properly but um, there we go. So, uh, so there's just an example of uh, some easy way to clean some beautiful uh, jewelry so uh, you know I'll shut the camera off and work on this chain and this watch but you really can see the difference on that and it even polished that that ruby up uh, nicely and this onyx nicely so um, let's just uh, throw that on there so that's just a classic old pinky ring uh, they used a ring like this in the movie Goodfellas Henry Hill uh, was wearing uh, pretty much the exact ring if you do a close-up on that you'll see that and uh, this one like I said was also pretty famous. Uh, so anyway, so thanks for watching. Just a review of the Connoisseur's Gold Jewelry Cleaning uh, product. Um, I'm not a, a paid spokesman whatsoever. This is just stuff I, I like to do, my hobbies, and uh, I like to share on uh, when I get a good deal. I like to share it with you guys. All right. Thanks for watching.